Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk about all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. So today, I'm so excited to bring you an updated comparison on the best place to buy your domain name. Should you just go to a place like GoDaddy, which seems to be where everyone buys domains, or are there different options out there, and is there really a difference with what they have to offer? That's what we're gonna unpack in today's video, so let's get started with the most popular option out there, and that is GoDaddy. At first glance, GoDaddy looks very appealing. They have a clean and simple website and I've always admired GoDaddy's marketing. They're masters at putting together a simple package and presenting it to newbies as what you need to get your website started. I'm here to save you though and tell you if you're considering GoDaddy for your domain name, do not buy it there. First of all, they charge $18.17 per year to renew .com domains. Now, at most of these registrars, they're going to offer you a cheaper first year price. So you may see prices like $10 or $5 or even $0.99 cents for a .com domain. But beware, you need to check into the renewal price. Because if you plan on keeping your business for longer than a year and... Let's be optimistic here. You want to keep your business going for years to come. You're going to have to renew this domain name after a year at the full renewal price. And at GoDaddy, that's $18.17 a year for a .com domain. And that's the second most expensive registrar on this list. Okay, but maybe it's worth paying a little bit more if the quality and customer service is there. Well, at GoDaddy, it's not. They are constantly trying to sell you stuff that's overpriced and stuff that you don't need. For example, unlike years past, GoDaddy does now offer free basic Whois protection with your domain name. And this means if somebody looks up your domain in the Whois database, which anybody can do, instead of publicly displaying your name, email, and address, GoDaddy will now hide that, which has kind of become a standard practice in the industry, except they still display your state for some reason. Now, I don't think that's the biggest deal if somebody knows the state you're based in, but what is alarming is that GoDaddy is trying to upsell advanced privacy protection. And worse, they've got two tiers of it, $10 a year and $15 a year. I mean, what is this? What does it even do? You either have who is protection or you don't. You're going to be just fine. Your domain's not going to be stolen. You don't need to buy this advanced who is protection or privacy protection. But so many business owners don't understand that and they're paying for stuff they don't need because GoDaddy is using really deceptive and shady practices to get them to buy stuff. GoDaddy customer service is not a good experience either. Their live chat is extremely frustrating. I often have to repeat myself to their reps just to get basic answers and their phone support while the reps are courteous they generally don't have a lot of knowledge and they're very smooth talkers so they'll kind of talk in circles and make you feel like you're just doing something wrong or there's nothing wrong on GoDaddy's side when in reality most of the time GoDaddy's stuff is buggy and broken and they just don't want to admit it leaving you really frustrated trying to figure out why your website is not working Please save yourself the trouble and avoid GoDaddy at all costs. All right, next we're gonna talk about Namecheap. Now Namecheap is my personal favorite site for the best overall ecosystem for your website. So if you're looking for a website where you can buy your domain name, web hosting, email hosting, and have everything under one roof, Namecheap is for you. They charge $13.16 a year for .com renewals and they don't try to sell you stuff you don't need. Whois protection is included for free, there's no silly upsells of advanced privacy protection, and they're not pushy on any of the add-ons they offer. By the way, if you are wondering which upsells you should buy, if any, or you have other questions about domain names, do be sure to check out my video on domain frequently asked questions that I put out. I answer a lot of the common questions that I get in the comments about domain names, so be sure to watch that. I think it'll be insightful for you. But anyway, Namecheap is a great place to have all of your website products under one roof. They offer high quality web hosting starting at $2.88 per month, and that's month to month, not having to pay for a year package or anything crazy. They also have great email hosting that I like from about $10 a year. They offer 24-7 live chat support, they do not offer phone support, and their live chat 
that support is okay. They definitely are able to help you out with any issues you have, but sometimes they're a little bit slow and sometimes the reps lack a bit of knowledge and you kind of have to ask things several different times or several different ways. So they don't have the best customer support out there, but they also are very reasonable with value. For around 40 or $50 a year, you could have the whole package, domain name, web hosting, and email hosting, and have a fully functioning WordPress website. So if you're looking for that ecosystem, that place to call home, your one-stop shop for all of your online products, look no further than Namecheap. Next, we have Google Domains, and this is a very interesting domain registrar because it's no frills, no nonsense, very simplistic, just $12 a year to renew a .com domain with free Whois protection and no kind of crazy upsells or advanced complicated panels or anything. I love how easy Google makes it to link your domain name with Wix, Squarespace, and Weebly. They have a really unique way of linking it where you just sign in with your Squarespace account or Wix account, and you don't even have to deal with name servers or traditional DNS like you have to at most domain registrars. Google does not offer web hosting. They do offer integration with Google Workspace, which makes sense because it's another Google product, but I would say Google Domains is a good fit for those of you who are using Wix or Squarespace and you're looking to save some money with your domain every year. So instead of paying $20 a year to Wix or Squarespace and having your .com domain with them, you could have it with Google Domains instead, and since it's so easy to link it together, it's not really a whole lot of extra work, and you're saving $8 a year. They have 24-7 live chat support, and overall, I would say Google Domains is highly underrated and often overlooked. Really, the biggest reason not to go with Google Domains is if you're just trying to de-Google your life and stay away from Google products. I get that and I respect that. I know a lot of you out there have voiced your opinion saying you are trying to get away from Google as much as possible. So if that's you, no worries. I think you're going to like Hover, which I'll talk about later. It's very similar to Google domains, but without the Google part of it. But if you like the simplicity and you want a name like Google backing your domain name, Give it a shot. All right, next we got Pork Bun. And if you're a penny pincher, this one is for you. Pork Bun charges $8.58 per year for a .com domain renewal with free Whois protection. They do offer web hosting and email hosting, but they're not the best in my opinion. I do like that they offer free trials with no strings attached. So if you'd like to give their web hosting or email hosting a shot, you can absolutely do that. But I feel that their panel is not the most intuitive and their web hosting products aren't super strong. So I would not recommend Pork Bun if you're looking for that one-stop shop where you're gonna hold everything under one roof. But if you use a third-party web host, say you're using like Bluehost for WordPress hosting and you want to buy your domain name with someone else to save some money, Pork Bun is about as cheap as it gets. They're a great ethical company. They have wonderful business practices. They're never trying to sell you stuff you don't need. They have very affordable prices. So overall, if you're looking for some great value you, I definitely recommend checking out Pork Bun. They're the only other company on this list where I hold some of my domain names, and honestly, I like them equally as much as Namecheap for different reasons. Hey, after you register your domain name, chances are you're looking at how to build your website. And if you're considering WordPress, which is a popular free website builder that powers over 30% of the internet, you're in luck because I'm currently working on my first online course, which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a WordPress website from start to finish. I'll be releasing it over at Krayler Academy and you can join the waiting list in the link in the description below if that sounds interesting to you. Now let's get back to the comparison. Next up is Name Silo. Now Name Silo is interesting. They take a similar no-nonsense approach to domains just like Pork Bun. It's just $8.99 a year for .com renewals with free Whois protection and Name Silo is one of the most ethical companies out there. They have very reasonable prices, they're never trying to sell you stuff that you don't need, and overall, they just want the customer to win. They want you to succeed with buying the products you need for your website, not buying the products they want to sell you. My biggest problem with Name Silo is that they've been updating their website for years, it feels like. I mean, they have this pretty new homepage that's really simple, really intuitive, but as you start to buy your domain name, they're constantly bouncing you back 
and forth to their old, really cluttered, dinosaur-looking website, and the change is really jarring when you go back and forth between pages. Additionally, the management panel where you actually connect your domain name to anything is still with the old UI, and it really is hard to use. It's just so busy, and it's hard to look at and comprehend how to point your domain name to name servers or anything like that. If you're more tech savvy and you don't mind poking around and learning a bit of a more cluttered panel, I think Name Silo could be a great value place to have a domain, web hosting, and email hosting. Name Silo offers phone support, unlike Porkbun, which could be definitely appealing to some people and they're a great company all around. Next up, we've got domain.com. And if you're looking at domain.com, please stop and don't buy your domain from them. Now, I didn't think it could be possible to be worse than GoDaddy, but at this point, domain.com is worse than GoDaddy. Look, they charge $13.99 a year for .com renewals, and while that's cheaper than GoDaddy, they don't even offer basic who is protection free. If you want who is protection, you have to pay $8.99 a year for that, making the effective all-in cost $22.98 per year for .com renewals with who is protection, and I really think that Who's protection is a must for most people. They have a more aggressive upsell screen than GoDaddy. They follow very similar practices of trying to sell you stuff that you don't need, and their stuff is so overpriced. I mean, they're wanting to charge like $40 a year for a basic SSL certificate. You should never pay for an SSL certificate, by the way. I have a whole video on that here. But overall, domain.com is not a good ecosystem, not a good place to buy a domain name, web hosting, or email hosting. They're not looking out for your best interest and they're trying to overcharge you for a lot of stuff you probably don't need. I found the panel to be a little bit sluggish as well. It just reminds me of GoDaddy overall, but worse, which is really saying something. Stay away from domain.com. You'll thank me later. Now, last on the list is Hover. And I like to think of Hover as Google domains, but without the Google. I mentioned earlier that if you think you're a fan of the simplicity of Google domains, but you're trying to shy away from Google for holding your assets, Hover is for you. They charge $14.99 a year for .com renewals with free Whois protection and this is the most simple experience alongside Google domains that I've ever had at a domain registrar. Everything is very clean, very simple, no nonsense. They do not offer web hosting. They do offer email hosting, but Hover is best for someone who's going to buy a domain name and connect it to a third-party web host or third-party website builder, and you just want to save a little bit of money and you want a simple experience. Similar to Google domains, they have easy guides on linking your domain name with Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, and other common website builders. Hover also offers phone support, which Google Domains does not offer. So if that's something important to you and you really like to speak to someone to work through support issues, I think you're gonna have a great time at Hover. One thing I do not like about Hover is that they charge you $5 a year for email forwarding, which every other company I recommend on this list, including Google Domains, offers for free included in the cost. So there are, of course, workarounds that you could still get free email forwarding if you use a third-party service and connect it to Hover, but I wish they would offer it natively for free. So overall, to summarize, stay away from GoDaddy and Domain.com. If you're seeking a one-stop shop for all of your domains, web hosting and email hosting products, I would highly recommend Namecheap. Now, if you want some value options, take a look at Porkbun and Namesilo. Namesilo is probably better as a value one-stop shop, where Porkbun is really just for value domain names, in my personal opinion. And if you're looking for a very simple, clean, smooth domain process, and you don't need to buy web hosting or anything else, you just want a domain and you want it to be as simple as possible, that's going to be where Google Domains or Hover really come into business benefit. I hope this video was helpful on where to buy your domain name. If you have questions like, is it bad to buy a domain name from Wix or Squarespace directly? Or why does the domain name I search cost $4,000 when you said that a .com domain was $12 a year or in that range? Definitely be sure to watch my FAQ video on domain names where I answer your most frequently asked domain questions. If you're interested in my step-by-step -step WordPress guide on building your first website, do be sure to check out the link in the description description below. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.